Hi everyone, this is Tammy at Snowstorm Crafts and welcome. So are you out of ideas of what to add to your junk journals and just get frustrated with what should I put in there and how should I use it and all that space in there with all the pages and you don't know what to add or what to make out of things? Well, in my experience of making junk journals, I have three fun projects that you can do using things around your home. So let's meet at the table and get started. So number one is paper bags. So paper bags are great to use in projects. Uh, I have these two as journal covers. As you can see, this is the bottom of a bag, just a big paper bag. And the great thing is, is you can all use all different sizes, just depending on, on how big you want your journal and how you want to you know, have the size of it and stuff like that. It's just however you want to cut it down. I mean, it's just so versatile. It really is. So this is just a brown paper bag that I just went ahead and did a little painting on the inside here just to give it a little character. And this is just the cover. Did a little kind of a little spine to it. Did a little sewing around it. Now you can glue in the same way, however you want to do it. And uh, yeah, so paper bags are very versatile to use. And then this is just my little uh, leather journal here I made, just out of a paper bag. And you gotta love the crinkle sound. That is the best part. So you get it all crinkly, and you can just do all kinds of stuff to it and make it your own. It's just so much fun. So that is number one. So number two is Amazon packaging, okay? And this is made out of Amazon packaging, and it's a little traveler's notebook. So you just pull this out, and you can see right here, that is the Amazon packaging right there. So these are great to keep. I'm sure, you know, all of us order from Amazon. You got tons of packaging coming in. You got the crinkle factor to it, which is awesome. And they make great, great structures for journal covers. They're durable. And like I said, you can either sew or you can glue, just however you want to do it. And then you just add your signature in the middle here, just like that. So it's just ready to go. So Amazon packagings are great for durability and sturdiness here. So for sure, put that on your list to try. And I'm sure you just look around your house, you're gonna find something. You're gonna find one of these guys hanging around somewhere. So I got this one, and then this also is an Amazon packaging. And this is one that we're working on right now, um, just uh, doing the Amazon packaging and stuff to make a cover. I have a whole playlist on it, and uh, I'll put it on the end screen if you guys wanna come check it out. But this is definitely fun too, and it's just a nice, sturdy, structure that you can you know go off of and I went I went ahead and painted it I just did some black acrylic paints and I just painted it and then did a stencil on it and this is just from Amazon packaging and did some sewing all the way around it added a little ribbon and voila you got yourself a journal okay so Amazon packaging definitely is a go-to that you could just find around your house now, number three is book pages. There is so many things that you can do with a book page. So I'm sure you guys have books hanging around. If not, Goodwill is a great place to go uh, and just get some cheap books. You can get some vintage books there usually. You know, you can find some of those usually. Uh, even just the up-to-date ones, it doesn't matter. Just any kind of book page. You can always uh, ink the edges and uh, dye them with avocado, with onion skins. I mean, there's so many, with coffee, with tea, there's just so many different ways you can make them look vintage. And book pages are definitely, definitely, definitely a go-to. I'm gonna show you some examples that you can use or that you can, you know, incorporate into your junk journal using a book page. Okay, so what I got here is I just went through and made little pockets 
and organize them into categories of what I take out of a, out of a book. So this one is words and numbers. So I, I really just went through, found some words that I liked and some numbers, you know, you can go and get all kinds of numbers and stuff here and words, obviously, because it's a book. <laughs> but let's see, I'll show you guys some of it. And these are great just to label through and put into your journals and do in collage and different things like that. But you can see, I mean, you got tons of letters numbers, different things like that. And book pages are just so much fun to play with. Just sit there, look through your books, you know, cut out all the numbers that you, you, you could see, all the little words that kind of catch your attention that you're like, oh, okay, I can use that. I can, I can, you know, label some stuff with that throughout my journal and, uh, you know, add some interest here and there. And it's always fun just to have it, to have words and numbers. So, that's one thing with book pages you can do for sure. And uh, pockets. I mean, you can obviously make some envelopes and pockets and belly bands and side tucks. All kinds of stuff you can make with just book pages. And like I said, you can sew or you can glue just to put everything together. So we got that. And then the next thing I have here is images. So images are great to add to your junk journals. So all these can be put together, they can put in, you know, the great part about it is you can make a journal cover with this. You can add these to your front cover, you know, like, let's see, here, we got this one. So say you got your little journal here, and we just find the right size, and there you go. So you can make that your journal cover, just an image from a book. Just go through, find your books, have a little image on the, ins on, on the outside right here, and you can put it on the inside too. And you can even go through and, you know, cut it, like maybe, I don't know if I have a smaller one. I was going to say maybe a little thinner, smaller ones like this. You could put that here and then you have it sort of a little like side tuck on the inside or, you know, get smaller than that. And you can do like a little pocket. Like you could do a little pocket like that. You know, you could do it where you cut it into a little triangle and do a side tuck. Or you can just put it up here and have it just be a little tuck up there. I mean, there's just so many things you could do with a book. Books are definitely very, very versatile, and you could go through, find different images that you like, different thicknesses of paper. So when you're looking and when you're at your, wherever you're at looking at books and stuff like that, just kind of go through, feel the page, see, you know, see how thick it is, see, you know, like everything that you like about it and the images, of course, and just see how you can incorporate them into your junk journals. But there is definitely versatility in a book page. Okay. So we got that. And then, of course, you know, make little pockets with it. So I just actually take the book, put the, sew the book pages together, then put an image on the front of it from the book and put in the images here. So I keep it organized. And then the words like that. And then this one... I think I have it from another, like this is from another, uh, this is from a, another cookbook. And I think this one's from the 70s, it's pretty cool. So uh, <clears throat> what I did is I just went through and found some images in the cookbook and just did some sewing and some interest around it. So this could be a cute little booklet. Like you could put this together, you know, you can even add another image on the front here. Like, you know, you can go through, find one of your fun images, and, uh, yeah, let's see. So we can put some words, and um, let's find a small one here, like this, 
you can go like that. Add that there. You know, do a little word here on the front. Um, I mean, just there's just so many possibilities you can do, and you can just take it and you know look at your little numbers and go. I think I'm gonna cut one of those off, and then just add a little number right here, like that, and do some inking all around and. Just kind of, I mean, this is all just from books. So you could just take your, your little book, look through it, see how you want to make a little booklet out of one of the pages, and then add some of the numbers and the words that you've cut out. So you can make a whole little journal, <clears throat> excuse me, just using a book. So I think out of all these, definitely the book is the most versatile that you can do. And you can make pockets and tucks and... You know, all those fun little things here. Let's see, I think I just have pages just cut out. I don't know if I've done any more on this. But that's what I did is I just went through and cut out some images. You know, I mean, and then you could just do some sewing around it. You could do some inking around them. Like these are great belly bands. Just things of interest of how you want to do it. You can make a collage with them. And so this one is just so much fun. And these are, you know, you can do an envelope. Like, see, I think that turned out really cool with all the spices. So this is just an envelope that I did. So just look at it a little different and go, what can I do with that? You know, I really like this book. I just don't know how to incorporate it and make it into, to go into my junk journal and stuff. So these are just some ideas. These are the three ideas that I wanted to share with you guys today and get you guys started and you know, your juices flowing and stuff. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. That helps me out so much and gets my video out there more. Let's other people see, you know, like what can I make out of things around my house? You know, like what can I put in a junk journal that I could just look over and see and go, oh, book pages or Amazon packaging, you know, or some, uh, just paper bags. Like, oh, I just went grocery shopping. I got some paper bags. Let me, you know, let me make a journal cover and stuff and then get my book pages and add some fun little pockets and tucks. And so there we go. So those are just things that you can find around your house. And like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed this and found it informational. And if you could please subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell and you guys can see my next video when I post it. Like, comment and share and let's grow together and keep on crafting.